we've arrived in Bangkok. We are in our first little Airbnb. We're staying in an Airbnb for the first couple of days. We've got Tim in the back, but he just got out of the shower, so I won't hey. indecent exposure. Nathan is in the shower. We're meeting our friend Ali in two days. So we've got a couple of days of just the three of us, the three amigos, exploring. I'm obviously gonna be vlogging the whole thing. So we're starting in Thailand, then Vietnam, then Cambodia, and then Hong Kong. I hope you're excited. I can't wait. Let's do this. How excited are you? Bangkok out of 10. Wow. I heard Bangkok's higher than 10. <laughs> Rumor has it. We went out last night, really fun. We went to this thing called, what's it called? Something box? Art box, Art they have, they have box. it. Love box. <laughs> and they have it worldwide, they have it in London as well. Art box, it was like a pop-up thing with stalls and live music. But now we're gonna go to the market, see some things, live our little lives. Oh yeah. Are you enjoying your uh, your couple's holiday being filmed by your personal <laughs> personal photographer? What you found? champs we are moving on to our next location we're going to a hostel more central so we're saying goodbye to our lovely airbnb and hello to our first hostel hostel of the trip and i'm excited ready kids champs boyos fellas ready indeed. ladies oh. arrived at our next hostel and it is honestly probably the most beautiful hostel i'm so sweaty i'll give you a little show around we're not checking in for half an hour so we're gonna go get some lunch but i'm gonna show you the pool which is but right now we're just trying to get a cat out of the luggage room because we accidentally let it in kitty to see the giant standing over there and we just saw a little bit of it and it's absolutely enormous. Oh 
five O T D. It's air conditioned in here. <laughs> gym in this hostel so Nathan and I are gonna make the most of it while there's a gym and I it's so hot in here the aircon's broken that it already looks like I've been working out but believe it or not I haven't started yet and hopefully this isn't too killer but I don't think it's gonna be able to be that killer to be really honest with you let's go I'm ready for breakfast, really, really, really ready for breakfast because Nat and I ended up going out last night. It was an accident, we didn't mean to, but it was really fun, very much worth it, but I'm feeling very ropey. I don't feel well. And we both promised each other we'd get up at 9 a.m. and go to the gym, which we did do. We physically went to the gym. <laughs> Does that mean we did anything? Nathan was bad. Nathan did something. I really did just lie on a mat and questioned my life choices but it was still fun and now we're gonna get some food i want french toast and then we're gonna lie there all morning and then ali's coming to meet us so that's exciting but anyway we need to order I'm feeling infinitely better now. We had a fry up for breakfast and swim in the pool. Had a shower, washed and blow dried my hair. First time I've blow dried my hair in a while. Now I'm heading for lunch and we have an extra member of our group. This is the back of Ali's head. Our friend Ali has been living in China for a year. So he's come to meet us for five days and then we're gonna see him at the end of our trip in Hong Kong as well. So yeah. We are now up to four, which means we're gonna have a really good night out tonight. Right now. <laughs> a man of few words. <laughs> Wow, my wet clothes. 
because it is. It was mad rain. It was so refreshing. Love it. We are at the airport going to Phuket and our flight was delayed because it's actually storming right now. I think it's starting to clear up but we're here in rainy season so there's been quite a lot of like torrential downpours and it's pretty good now. Yeah I think it's okay now but there was one basically when our flight is supposed to be taking off. We didn't get to go to the Grand Palace because we didn't leave enough time and Tim's really disappointed. Yeah, really wanted he really wanted to see it. And we next come to Bangkok, eh? <laughs> we just didn't have time. We left too late and stayed out too late. We would today. We'll make up for it. We're gonna go see the Big Buddha. We're in Phuket. I don't know whether I said yesterday, but we arrived in Phuket last night. We're going to see the Big Buddha and a temple and maybe go to the beach, but it is raining. It's actually pissing it down today. So we're gonna make the most of what we can do in this weather. Our only full day in Phuket, because tomorrow we're going to Kripi. So we'll take you along with whatever it is we end up doing. How's everyone feeling this morning? Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we're going to the toilet.
to uh, taste the local cuisine. <laughs> no, we're in McDonald's because I needed to pee. But we have just arrived in Kofifi. We've moved from Phuket to Kofifi today. We had a nice morning on the boat. And we don't know where we're staying yet. We're gonna go for a wander, go find what looks good, and find a hostel. I think we have two or three days here. I wanna be on a beach. I don't want to do anything. Just drink smoothies and eat fruit. So I've been left on bag duty with everyone's profession. What do you think of Kofifi so far, Timmy? The most beautiful place I've ever seen. We had a lot of fun in Bangkok and Phuket, but now I'm ready just to get tan. Love me! You're so cute! It's the end of the first week, I think. It's our first full day here in Kofifi. We are gonna go and rent some kayaks, go snorkeling, just chill and have fun on the beach. And last night was so much fun. We weren't supposed to be going out and then we ended up going to a beach party. Did you have fun last night, Tim? Yeah, great fun, honestly. Best tame night I've had in a while. We're not going out tonight and then... We're not, we're not. We're not. We're not going out tonight. We probably are gonna go out tonight. Yeah, so we're gonna go get some kayaks now and I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro.
Good morning guys. It is a beach day again today. Film any fun stuff that we get up to and I'll chat to you a bit later. another day in paradise <laughs> um, this morning I woke up extremely hungover we went to a bar last night and I had three buckets of cocktail which I didn't need I ended up singing in a bar which I don't sing in public really ever but it was really fun and I wish Tim had filmed it but also I'm kind of glad he didn't <laughs> and then we got a boat this morning which didn't help the hangover. We've come from Kofifi, we're now in Koh Lanta, which is a slightly more relaxed island. Just gonna chill, maybe rent some scooters today or tomorrow, just kick back a little bit. Yesterday was really nice. Going snorkeling and stuff, we had so much fun and I hope the footage looks good. I think we're also gonna do some diving on this island, so I'm excited. And I'm also, I'm the walking wounded again, constantly covered in bites and bruises for the size of this one not a good look <laughs> See ya. Moped man. We're gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah. Looking good. Looking like a vet. Veteran. Not veterinarian. <laughs> First success. DVLA approved Nathan. Paul's dyke. Oh man. More sushi. Sushi man. <laughs> oh yeah. Looking good, mate. This is amazing. We've been got hanging palm tree. Ahoy there! Yeah.
my camera keeps messing up because it's so hot. It's getting steamy. Good morning, everybody. We have just woken up early-ish. For us? Oh, thank you. We're getting two breakfasts. Perfect. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. So this is the starter. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I would. This would have been enough for me. I also really want hash brown, so. And we're gonna start our day with some lovely breakfast, and then we are gonna go to the gym. This is our third gym session since we've been here, but I'm only gonna count it as our second, because I think the first two combined probably made one decent session. And then we're gonna rent mopeds and go all around the island and give ourselves the grand tour. Oh, God. I am. <laughs> a new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. It is another day, another dollar being spent, baby. We are still on Kolanta Island. We're gonna go again out on the scooters, find a beach, have a jolly good time. Last night we went to a bar called the Freedom Bar and we chilled on the beach and we had some drinks and we played some pool and we made some friends. Um, when we first arrived, there was only one other person in this room, but now we've got two new amigos, so that's nice. Made some nice friends and yeah. That is our plan for the day. Let's go on with the day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello. We just did our first time in Thailand. We saw black tip reef sharks and I'm very pleased with that. I call that a successful dive. How did you find your first dive in Thailand? Brilliant. Honestly amazing. Like literally like you've taken your iPhone, put blue planet on it. <laughs> and looked around. Sat in the bar. Sat in the bar. But better. But better. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Now I'm nice and seasick, so I'm ready to go back in, but I had so much fun. So much better than the lake I learned in. And even in Colombia, like that was a really good dive. I'm very, very happy. Cat in Koh Lanta. Who is burnt? <laughs> burnt to fuck. Burnt to fuck. They say that the most likely injury to come about whilst diving is sunburn. And I was like, ha! My lungs are more likely to explode. And here we are. Look at that. Do know. as I say, kids, don't do as I do. You can't really see me, but we're heading for a lovely dinner with our with our friends from our room in our hostel. So all eight of us, all eight beds are going out for our final dinner because tomorrow we leave to go to the next island. I also got really burnt today, you guys. I am an advocate, you know, wear sun cream and I didn't when we went diving, which is a cliche to get burnt while you go diving. I'm just talking to my camera, don't mind me. Um, but I'm burnt to shit. Um, which isn't ideal, but it's all gonna be fine. It'll turn to turn, right? It'll stop me. <laughs> They're laughing at me. They're new to this whole vlog thing, okay? <laughs> they haven't got used to me talking to myself yet. Order what he wants as well and eat both. <laughs> Hi. We are on a bus. What did you think of Koh Lanta I loved Koh Lanta. I absolutely loved it. Favourite place so far? Very nice too. We did an amazing dive yesterday. Mm. Great. We're not talking about that diving yet. Oh, we've already spoken to them. <laughs> we're at 7.30 bus this morning, so we're all feeling a little bit sleepy. We've been on a bus basically all day. And now we're going on another bus. And then a boat and then another bus. What did you see while you were diving, Ems? I saw a black tip reef sharks. Box fish, trumpet fish, clown fish. Lots of fish. Parrot fish, trigger fish, blood fish, all the fish. Trigger fish were cool. Yeah. I also planned my first tattoo. It's a very exciting thing as well, which will be hopefully on my body when I get home. After I get home, I'm not gonna get done here. It's just a travel day today, not much to report, so we'll speak to you soon. We've arrived in Koh Samui. Um, we're about to go out for some dinner. Nathan's waiting for us in the lobby, so we gotta go. Let's get some drinks in. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
another day <laughs> so last night me tim and nathan went to a drag show obviously brilliant because tim and i are huge drag fans so that was super super fun today is this exciting i'm sorry i've been bitten to pieces today's an exciting day because me and tim are going to go and see some elephants at a sanctuary it's a non-riding sanctuary and i hope that the elephants are happy i think we're going to go on a bar crawl tonight as well yeah so yeah Fiber. What's this? This is honey. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Delicious. It's <That's fun. laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. Wow. laughs> <It's tender. laughs> You're stuck in a vicious cycle, Tim. You can never leave. I'm pretty sunburned. I got really, 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 really burnt on the way home from scuba diving. I felt really seasick and I just put my head between my legs and my back is roasted. So I thought I would give my body a little bit of a rest from the sun for the afternoon. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup to be honest, just a touch, not a lot, so that when they come in and they're all excited, I'll be ready, be ready for them, ready to go. That's my plan for the afternoon. I think we're going on a bar crawl to, oh God, I do look tired. Maybe I should have had a nap. I'm taking the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. <laughs> Our plan for tonight is a bar crawl and then just see where the night takes us. I think we're also going to the Fisherman's Market. We're going to Koh Panyang tomorrow. So we're moving islands again tomorrow. To be honest, Koh samui has been absolutely dead. There's no one here, which we weren't really expecting. We know it's low season, but everywhere else that we've been has been pretty live. So don't know but i'm glad we're moving on tomorrow i'm ready to move on tomorrow i hope my body is ready for a travel day but it's not far away so if i'm hungover i just need to get my ass on the boat and then i can sleep i thought i'd show you my outfit it's basically the same my burn is out and proud in the back <laughs> Scenes 
someone takes so long to eat a piece of sushi. <laughs> How is it? Not what I was expecting. <laughs> that was amazing. She's sweating. Morning everybody. Tim and I are going downstairs for some breakfast. Nathan went out last night, we think. He did, yeah. He did. We need to get a taxi at 12. We need to get a boat at 12. The, well, we need to get to the the dock at 12.30 to buy a ticket for the boat. Here is my outfit of the day. Very, very comfy, very basic, quite neon actually. <laughs> Obviously I'm wearing my Birkenstocks because they are the only shoes that I have worn this entire trip. Last night we did have a bit of a disaster. So we sat in bed drinking drinks. Nathan really wanted to go out. I fell asleep watching James Acaster, so I was like, hell no, I'm not going out tonight. Tim was like, okay, I'll come and have some pre-drinks with you. I had the key. I then obviously fell asleep because I was falling asleep during James Acaster, so of course I was gonna fall asleep the second they left. Tim was knocking on the door for 20 minutes outside, waiting for me to open the door. And when I heard him knock, I thought that was the first knock. Really? Yeah, I literally yeah. got up and ran to the door. I was like, oh, he's here. Like, I thought, <laughs> I really, I honestly thought that was the first cool. knock. I hadn't heard anything. Like and also, I'd asked him to bring me a 7-Eleven cheese and ham toasty. And he ate it because I didn't answer the door. Let's go get some nom. I'm really, really hungry because I didn't get my bedtime toasty. Just went to the shops, got myself some shorts to wear tonight so I can get them covered in neon paint and not cat. Here's my full moon party look. Classy. My classiest of looks. Hey. Oh, look at these guys. I love how I match both of you. you match both of them. Yeah, my ears. Oh, yeah. No question who I'm here with. I'm ready to party. Tim and I came home really early. It was like 2 a.m. It was just a beach party. It was just a beach party. A lot of a lot of what I've heard and what I heard from a few people last night is that it used to be 
amazing. I don't know why, and they didn't really know why either. I just feel like we've been to better beach parties. Like, the ones on PP were so much more fun. But at least now it means that we don't feel awful this morning. We can have a nice day on the beach, even though it's actually really overcast. Mm -hmm. hot which I assumed you wouldn't. Hello everyone, we've made it to Koh Tao which is our final island. I'm sorry if you can't hear me because of the fan, it's quite loud. I've got too many fans. Yeah this is our last island before we go to Cambodia so we're just gonna have some fun on this last island. We're going for a scuba dive tomorrow. They saw a whale shark two days ago so we're keeping everything crossed. I don't think it's gonna happen but I'm gonna send it into the universe as our lovely diving man told us to. It's a nice island here and our hostel's super, super nice and I'm drinking my first tea in two weeks. We're going to enjoy this. Panning onto the, oh, panning onto the sandwich now. Sandwich. Oh. Good morning everyone. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. We are walking to, oh it's, it's quite hot, it's steamed up. We're walking to the dive centre to go on a dive, <laughs> dive today. Keeping our fingers, toes, balls, everything you can cross, crossed that we get to see a whale shark because we're going to hopefully be the first boat out. If we don't, it's fine. It would be the best moment of my life, so no pressure. Mm. Wish us luck, guys, and let's go have a nice time. <laughs> it's just completely steamed up. two dives this morning it is five to twelve five to twelve first dive started at seven had to be at the dive shop for 5 30 this morning we didn't see a whale shark i'm just gonna break the news to you now <laughs> no whale sharks for emma this time it is still a life goal of mine to swim with a whale shark so we will make that happen. It just didn't happen today fine i'm fine <laughs> um but we did see some cool stuff we saw a giant puffer fish, it was huge, which I tried to film. It was surrounded by loads of divers, but I don't know how clear the footage will be, but it was pretty friggin' whopping. It was cool. And the actual dive site itself was a really nice one. It was super, super built and high up. <laughs> Lots to look at, just no whale sharks. <laughs> I think I might have caught some more of the sun. But my hair is not happy. Good morning. Good morning. We slept the whole night through. It's raining. Back. 
again. Hey, it's another grey day today, so we're just gonna go. Oh, it is hot though. I actually regret wearing a shirt. Well, I'll just sweat. It's gonna go get some lunch. It's our last day on the islands today. Tomorrow we fly to Cambodia. Gonna get in the last of my Thai food fix today. Where's Nathan? We're down one. Get the same thing. Still got 995. It's called 995 duck. Roast the Roast duck. Sorry, we get some, wait for it, duck. And then we're going on a bar call. going out last night so we're feeling a bit rough we then went on a high-speed catamaran which I'm telling you it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had whilst hungover it was really rough Nathan you can agree look at him just staring into the distance trying to forget what just happened to him not a happy boy talking about the catamaran it wasn't pleasant it wasn't pleasant both of us just trying to keep everything together <laughs> what I mean. But we're now in Seratani. We're flying to Cambodia. But here's an update. We're heading to the airport where we're going to be sat for many hours waiting for our flight. Isn't it lovely weather? Oh yeah. This is weather has been awful. Yeah. Awful. yeah. We've had, it's felt like rainy season for the past few yeah. days. But we have been super, super lucky. It's been so sunny. It's been really, really grim. Look at this. Talk to me, G. Then Cambodia. Next stop, Cambodia. 